Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share some devotionals with all of you. But before I get to those, I just wanted to quickly mention, if you go into the playlist tab section on my channel, I have posted a list or, or a playlist of the devotionals, and I titled it Devotionals. So you can read and and get all the transcripts there, as well as hear the videos to all the words for the devotionals and words from Oswald Chambers. So I just wanted to share that with all of you in case um, you'd like to have that list and easy access to, to hear all of them. So to get on with uh, the devotionals for today, the first one is titled, Passing Through the Fire. An amazing fact, the ancient pagan cultures of the world worshipped many false gods, often in connection with the worship of the sun. One such god was named Milcom, alternatively called Moloch, Moloch or Malcom. This god was said to require human sacrifice, often of children, and preferably first-born children, as a condition of replenishing the heat and strength of the sun. Various accounts of ancient Milcom worship depict statues of the god hollowed out to allow for a fire to burn within. The sacrificial child would be placed in the statue's mouth to fall into the flames, or be placed upon the statue's outstretched hands to slowly roast the child from the heat within. The cries of the anguished child would be drowned out by loud drums and music. These rituals were collectively called passing through the fire. Human sacrifice is abhorrent to the God of Israel. Mankind was made in the image of God, Genesis 1 verse 27, and God holds human beings accountable when they shed human blood by killing another human. They are killing the image of God, Genesis 9 verse 6. When foretelling of his triumphant restoration of Israel after their captivity in Babylon, God not only pronounces judgment on the surrounding pagan nations, but also of their gods. He declared that Milcom shall go into captivity with his priests and his princes together. Jeremiah 49 verse 3 To allow a religion to survive when it requires human sacrifice was unacceptable to the Lord. God promises to protect his children from passing through spiritual fires as well. Like the faithful Hebrews thrown into the fiery furnace in Daniel chapter 3, God will protect his faithful followers when they face fiery trials of their own. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah 43, verse 2. And that is the end of the first devotional. And the second one is titled, Heavenly Bread. An amazing fact. The fastest bun in the West goes to a team of bakers from West or sorry, Wheat Montana Farms and Bakery, who reclaimed the Guinness World Record in 1995. They harvested and milled wheat from the field and then mixed, scaled, shaped, and baked a loaf in exactly 8 minutes and 13 seconds. Bread is a basic staple food in the diet of most every culture in the world. Each American consumes on average, 53 pounds of bread per year. Assuming a sandwich was eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it would take 168 days to
to eat the amount of bread produced from one bushel of wheat. A family of four could live ten years off the bread produced by one acre of wheat. One bushel of wheat will produce 73 one-pound loaves of bread. It takes nine seconds for a combine to harvest enough wheat to make about 70 loaves of bread. In 1997, Kansas wheat farmers produced enough wheat to make 36.5 billion loaves of bread, or enough to provide each person on earth with six loaves of bread. One day, a crowd of people went looking for Jesus. The Lord had performed a miracle feeding a multitude with bread, and they wanted more. We too go searching for material blessings from God and miss the spiritual blessings he also intended. Jesus sought to correct their understanding of what he meant by bread from heaven. The crowd said, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst. John 6, verses 34 and 35. If you would know Christ, spiritual bread should be a basic staple of your daily diet. Take him every day to eat from the word of God, and you will never go hungry. Wherefore, do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Isaiah 55 verse 2 And that is the end of the devotionals. I hope you are all having a very blessed, beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every single one of you. And I just want you all to know, I do lift you all up in prayer and your families and all those that you are praying for. And I want to just take a quick second here to thank you all for your kind comments and your prayers for myself and my family. You all have a beautiful day in the Lord, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.